high. <laughs> This is an interesting video that I'm doing today. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamika. This is Library of Tomes where I talk to you about all the bookish things going on in my life. Hi, welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm so sorry that this is the video that you've found. Today we're gonna be going over the picks for the Taboo Book Club for September. And I'm also gonna be giving you some more book recommendations slash just more books in this uh, relationship type for you to read if you end up really liking the books that we have selected for September. So a little background before I jump on in. Me and Jen made the Taboo Book Club because me and her literally read Taboo books 24 seven. Um, if I read a Taboo book, I immediately go to Jen and I'm like, go read this book, please. And then we chat about it. And that's kind of the way that we've been. Anytime one of us reads a Taboo book, we kind of go to each other. We're like, tell me how you feel, especially if we read the same one. There's been a few where Jen's only read them and I haven't. And I've asked her to like, kind of tell me about them because I mean, they're not interested or she doesn't think I would like them. So, so when I came up with the Taboo Book Club and I asked Jen to do it with me, specifically, I was thinking that I loved that dynamic that me and Jen have where we can like talk to each other in depth about Taboo books and we kind of go out there and we will read just about anything. Now, we may not like it, but we will read and try anything just about once when it comes to Taboo books. So, the whole idea I had was I love Jen and I love reading taboo books with her. I love talking to her about them. So I wanted to open it up for a lot of people. So that's what we've done. And that's what the taboo book club is. And that's how we formed. We did have last month where we did dad's best friend. This month we are doing familial love. Uh, and I'm using that term. And this is what Jenny is too, in order to put this online without YouTube uh, trying to keep it from everyone. So we are going to be reading books with blood rel blood relatives who have relationships. Um, this is the most taboo we've done yet and this will probably be the most taboo that we do in general. We are just going straight in as taboo as we can and yeah so I will say that we will be doing step uh, step family in the future, like stepbrother, stepfather, stepmom, stuff like that. Uh, that is not what we're doing today. These are actual blood relatives. And yeah, we're just gonna dive in because I've already been rambling and we just need to get, go ahead and jump on into it because I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm very nervous, but I'm also excited. So here we go, here are the books. So first up, my pick is Like Dragonflies by Kay Webster and Danielle James. This one, is half siblings. This one follows two characters who find out, I think they find out later on that they are actually related and they have already formed a relationship, but they share the same father. Uh, so yeah, very taboo, very excited to read it. Uh, you can't find this one on Amazon. This one you have to find on uh, the web, the author's website. Next up we have The Wild, which is Jen's pick. This one is a father daughter and they f go to the woods, into the wild and the mother dies and the people only have each other to lean on. There's a lot of trigger warnings for this one. I know Jen said there was actual rape on page on this one. Uh, and I don't know any of the other trigger warnings because I haven't read this one, but she said there was a ton and that if you have any concerns to look them up. Um, so I will pass that along for you. I've not read it. I've not looked at the trigger warnings yet, but whenever I do read it, I'll make sure I give those to you and you have a list of them. So those are the Taboo Book Club picks for September. I am very excited to read both of those. And before we jump onto the rest of them, I do want to say that uh, me and Jen will be discussing these in depth, why they're taboo, why it is not okay or why it is okay. Obviously, I'm going to go and give you my caveat that I don't think incest is okay <laughs> uh, because one of all the messed up stuff that can happen to a person when inbreeding happens. I'm not going to judge anyone for reading these books because I'm obviously reading them and this is like a fantasy world. But in real life, let's not. <laughs> okay, let, like let's not. I'm going to be sharing one of the books that I've actually read, which I do recommend and I really, really liked. And then I'm going to be talking about a couple others that I wanted to uh, read. So the first one is Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. This is one I've read and I 
loved this book. This book was so heartbreaking. This one ripped my heart into a million pieces. This follows two characters whose names I don't know. I never know names. That's just what you get on my channel. We don't know names here. We don't know anyone's name. But they are a brother and sister. They take care of their younger siblings and the mother who is in this in the picture is actually really not. She is a very absent parent and she is also... I think she's either an alcoholic or she has some kind of substance abuse and the two characters fall in love and develop a relationship together and yeah I'm not gonna tell you what happens because that's literally all the fun um it's actually not fun it's very heartbreaking and it makes me want to cry I did cry a lot reading this one so if you want something emotional that's gonna wreck you here's one this is a book that I think you should read. I think I, I, I love this book. Jen refuses to read it, but I loved it. Next up, I have another one that is pretty out there. And I was actually recommended this one specifically by Brianna Hill, who, if you don't know, she's my favorite author and I love her a lot. And she recommended Perfectly Wrapped by Daniel James, who also is one of our authors for this month anyway. I really want to read this one. This one follows a mother or not a mother a daughter father relationship in the synopsis it says that the mother didn't treat the father correctly and the daughter thinks she can uh and she it says that he's a forbidden person so yeah we're saying father daughter on that one again you have to buy it off the author's website this one is another one that is pretty taboo and i can't wait to get my hands on it because it sounds really good and I just I need to know how these work. I need to know how they get an HEA. The next one is Torn by Sage Whistler. This one is twins. The earth it's a twin cest situation. Uh so it's about two siblings, uh two twins who fall for each other. So we'll see how that goes. That sounds interesting. Um and I just I cannot imagine the situation where two twins fall in love and then everything's cool. I just, I need to know. Like, the curiosity in me is just burning to know, like, how the authors pull this stuff off. So, that's gonna be all the fun for me, is figuring out how they get these HEAs, because I just don't know how it's gonna happen. I have no clue how it's even possible. So, the last one that I have here is another sibling, and this one is Love's Forbidden Flower, and this one is, again, about two siblings, and it sounds interesting. So this one is a new adult romance between two siblings who struggle with their emotions and it is not a work of erotica that's just like an author's note on here. Um, but it follows two characters Donovan and Lily and there's a lot of controversy and they have to figure out how they can be together. I don't know. We're gonna find out. I just I need to know. <laughs> so if you want more uh, other books that are taboo that are specifically this trope you can go check out Jen's video she posted hers as well and she included a couple more from Kay Webster and some more from Danielle James I know that's kind of their thing they just go for taboo and like they they pull it off so I am going to get off here now and I'm going to go check out some of these books if you want to read any of these please let me know in the comments which ones sound interesting and which ones you might pick up because I'm just kind of obsessed with this idea now because I just, how? I need to know how. Like, how do you pull it off? I just need to know. All the information for the Taboo Book Club is in linked in the description, including the link for the live show for next month and a card will be included for a um, playlist all about the Taboo Book Club as well because I have a playlist started for the Taboo Book Club things. If you want to be my friend on any other platform I have all my links in the description, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads all linked down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone. Rosie.